What's good everybody, my name is Gael and welcome back to another video. And like I promised before in a previous video, I said I'd go over the first roll of photos that I ever took with my Mamiya RB67. And the first roll of photos I ever took was with a Kodak Portra 800. And I'm just here to show you guys the photos that I took. So we'll go over that right now. All right, so I'm just gonna share with you guys the photos through my computer. I got these photos developed at my camera shop near my house. It's not too far away. So I got them developed and I got them all put on a USB drive. And then I just connected to my computer and then it just pops up over here. So they're all exported as TIFF files, so high resolution. And I think they're pretty dope so far, you know, as for my first shots of 120 film, I think they look pretty cool. I had my best friend Eric model for me for these shoots. You know, he came by my crib and then we just drove around in his car and then we just started taking photos. So I want to say shout out to him for helping me out with that. So this is the first shot I took with the Mamiya RB67 with the Kodak Portra 800. And it's just a bookshelf that I thought is pretty cool because of the color coordination it has. It has maroon, red, brown, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I took a photo of that. And then, you know, in the photo you can see there's like a little glare a little glare at the bottom right corner. You know, it might be a little distracting, but you know, it is what it is. It's my first try, so that's what it was. So the second photo is me and my friend Eric. Eric, you know, he came to my house and then he just parked right there. And then, you know, just took photos. You know, he's posing up against his, his blue Subaru. And, you know, I thought that came out pretty dope. The second one, the second one right here is probably my favorite. Um, it's pretty dope. It's a good portrait. I like how, you know, he's just there and the sun's just hitting him from behind and, you know, it's pretty cool. Pretty self-explanatory, honestly. It's just, it's just some fun portraits that you take with your friends. <laughs> this is when we were at the basketball court, uh, by the middle school, by my house. And, you know, he just wanted to do a funny pose or a cool pose. So he just squatted down next to the basketball hoop. You know, he's a, he's a good baller. So, so that's what we were doing right there. And then over here is a second shot. This shot is pretty dope. You know, he he told me about like cool poses that some people do on TikTok, and we just went along with this one. And and this one it came out pretty well. I like this one a lot. And another portrait right here. And you know, just he's on his he's on his gangster stuff, man. He's on his gangster stuff right here. He looks very serious. He's a serious man sometimes, but he's a he's a really funny person. And then we have another one with him in his car right here, Subaru. This one's pretty dope. You can see a lot of detail onto the car right over there. The sun was pretty bright that day. Uh, we shot it on a Saturday. So, so yeah, that's it. That's that right there. I like how, how I like, you know, it has a warmer tones uh, and then in this, in this uh, series of photos. And I like that a lot. Cause I feel like a lot of photos nowadays goes with the bluer tones. It's cool sometimes, but I feel like it's overused. So, the warm tones right here is pretty dope. There's a closer shot right over here. What he's looking down at, he's trying to fix a Rubik's cube that I had. So he's trying to solve it right there. And then another portrait right there. This time it's him without his glasses. And you know, maybe one day he can show these photos to his kids and whatnot. And yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty much it for the photos right there. You know, it's pretty dope photos and uh, yeah, I like them a lot. It came out good. You know, I hope hopefully I can explore more creative, you know, juices out of my head once I start using the RB67 more. And then we can go on from there. But yeah, these are the photos, man. Came out pretty well. Shout out to my boy, Eric. You know, helped me out a lot. I appreciate him. So that's pretty much it right there, honestly. It's just a quick little video, a quick little review of the photos that I took with the RB67. Each roll only comes with 10 photos, so it's not much to go over, I know, but other than that, you know, I had fun shooting with it. You know, it was dope trying to get used to everything and how to get comfortable with the camera. I just want to go out there and then, you know, just practice. But I know over time, I'll get better at shooting the RB67 and, you know, get more creative with it and become better at medium format photography. Yeah, other than that, I hope you enjoy the photos and I hope, you know, you guys keep watching all my stuff and, we just continue on from here. We'll just keep creating more stuff and keep being creative. All right. But other than that, that's all I got for you guys. I'll see you guys later. Be safe. Keep creating stuff. I'm out. Deuces. I'll see you later.